Thank you for choosing the iSpring RCS 5T Reverse Osmosis System. You have purchased one of iSpring's finest reverse osmosis water filtration systems. With proper installation and maintenance, this water filtration system will provide you with clean and refreshing drinking water for years to come. Please follow the instructions in the video for proper installation procedures. Before we begin, please make sure your water pressure is 40 PSI or above. If your water pressure is higher than 80 PSI, adding a pressure regulator in front of the system is recommended. The system operating temperature range is 40 degrees to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The system requires drilling a quarter inch hole into the under sink drain pipe for wastewater. The system may require drilling a half inch hole into the sink or countertop for faucet installation. Please check that all parts were included in the package that your RO system arrived in and that you have all the required tools ready. Installation Feed Water Adapter RCS 5T RO system is designed for under sink water use. Please clean out space under the sink before installation. The feed water adapter fits common half inch and 3 8 inch connectors. If you have a different size fitting, you will need a converter. Step 1. Turn off the cold water supply valve under the sink and turn on the faucet to drain out any air and water in the connector hose. Step 2. Unscrew the faucet connector hose. Be prepared to catch any excess water from the hose with a towel. Step 3. Install the feed water adapter to the cold water supply valve and tighten it with a wrench. Please ensure the O-ring is seated properly inside the adapter to prevent leaks. Step 4. Reinstall the faucet connector hose to the feed water adapter and tighten it with a wrench. Step 5. Turn the feed water valve to the off position. Insert the 3 8 tubing half an inch deep into the quick connect fitting. Then insert a locking clip to lock the tubing in place. Measure and cut the tube. Leave enough tubing length for future maintenance. Installation. Drain Saddle. Step 1. Choose a spot on the drain pipe convenient for installing the drain saddle and tubing. A horizontal pipe is recommended to minimize the dripping sound. Step 2. Drill a quarter inch hole into the drain pipe. Paste the black sticky pad around the hole to prevent leaks. Step 3. Cut the end of the quarter inch tubing tip to make a 45 degree angle. Remove the plastic nut. Insert the tubing through the nut and the front plate to the drain pipe. Then, tighten the nut to secure tubing. Step 4. Install the back plate and tighten the two screws with hex nuts while the tubing remains in the hole. Pull the tubing lightly to make sure it is secure. Measure and cut the tube. Leave enough tubing length for future maintenance. Installation RO Drinking Faucet Choose a suitable flat surface on the sink or countertop to install the drinking faucet. If your kitchen sink does not have a pre-existing hole, you will need to drill a hole half an inch to one and a half inch in diameter. Step one, clean and dry the sink hole area. Step two, insert the front plate, then the rubber washer into the faucet base. Step three, insert the faucet into the sink hole. Step four, from under the sink, insert the rubber washer followed by the wing nut into the faucet stem. Tighten the wing nut to secure the faucet. Step five, insert the quarter inch quick connect coupling to the faucet stem. Step six, insert the quarter inch tubing into the push-in adapter half inch deep and then insert a locking clip to lock the tubing in place. Step seven, measure and cut the tubing. Leave enough tubing length for future maintenance. Installation, reverse osmosis membrane. Step one, remove the locking clip and disconnect the tubing on the membrane housing cap. Unscrew the cap by turning it counterclockwise using the housing wrench. Step two, unwrap and insert the membrane into the housing and make sure the membrane is seated flush with the housing. Step three, check that the membrane housing O-ring and housing cap O-ring are seated properly. Screw the cap back onto the housing. Use the housing wrench to tighten the cap with another quarter to half turn of the wrench. 
Do not over-tighten, as this can cause leaks and make future filter replacements difficult. Step 4. Connect the tubing back to the membrane housing cap and secure it with a locking clip. Pre-filter wash. Filters posted in front of the reverse osmosis membrane are called pre-filters. We recommend performing a pre-filter wash every time you install or replace pre-filters to prolong the RO membrane service life and maximize the system performance. Step 1. Unscrew stage 1, 2, and 3 filter housings. Take out and unwrap all filters. Step 2. Insert the filters back into their housings and ensure the housing O-rings are properly seated to prevent leaks. Step 3. Twist the housings counterclockwise onto the housing caps. Use the housing wrench to tighten the housing with another quarter to half of a turn. Do not over-tighten, as this can cause leaks and make future filter replacements difficult. Step 4. Remove the plug and locking clip. Insert the 3 8 inch tubing from the feed water adapter to the system water inlet fitting. Secure the tubing with the locking clips. Step 5. Remove the locking clip and remove the tubing from the solenoid valve fitting. Connect the quarter-inch tubing from the drain saddle to the quarter-inch to 3 8 inch coupling. Connect the pre-filter water outlet tubing to the coupling. Ensure all tubing is inserted half an inch deep into the fittings and lock the tubing in place by inserting the locking clip. Step 6. Turn on the cold water supply valve and slowly turn on the feed water valve. Let the water fill and flush the pre-filters for at least 5 minutes. Check and ensure that no leaks occur. Step 7. Shut off the feed water valve. The pre-filter wash is now complete. System installation. Step 1. Remove the drain tube from the pre-filter water outlet fitting. Be prepared to catch the excess water from the connection with a towel. Step 2. Remove the locking clip on the wastewater port. Connect the drain tubing to the system wastewater port and lock the tubing in place by inserting the locking clip. Step 3. Connect the 3 8 tubing back to the solenoid valve fitting. Lock the tubing in place by inserting the locking clip. Step 4. Connect the quarter-inch tubing from the drinking faucet to the post-carbon filter outlet. Lock the tubing in place by inserting the locking clip. System Startup Please plug in the system to a power outlet. The booster pump will turn on automatically when water flows through. Step 1. Ensure no tubings are kinked. Turn on the feed water valve and check the connections for any leaks. Turn off the feed water valve and fix any leaks before moving on to the next step. Step 2. Turn on the drinking faucet to purge out all air. The water will flow out within a few minutes. Step 3. Let the water run for at least 10 minutes to drain any residual materials from the membrane and filters. Shut off the faucet when finished. Congratulations! Your iSpring reverse osmosis system installation is now complete. You can now enjoy clean and refreshing water at home. Please refer to the user manual or contact us directly if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.